my closet tour by heart evangelista that's what you guys wanted to see i got so many emails saying you have to see her closet it is amazing and i just thought what does one of the most beautiful women's closets look like i was i was so curious to know what her closet looked like because you know what guys closets will tell you a lot about a person <laughs> they will tell you so much you can learn everybody's dirty little secrets from their closets that's right all right guys are you ready we're just gonna jump right into this videos would be to take you on a tour in my walk-in closet so this is what oh, we're going to do best. right now i did one before for a magazine but it wasn't as detailed and as intense as now panda come on so oh cute hey, she's panda. a dog okay so panda knows this is my walk-in closet welcome what? i chose to make the carpet pink because i saw it in a gucci store and i thought it was so cute and plus it's just much, much more safer if there's a carpet so you don't slide. The handle right here is very special because this is actually from an old house and I really liked it so we painted it gold. So as you can see, I had my scarves, my Hermes scarves framed. I think that's a brilliant idea. Most of them are actually gifts from like my birthday or Christmas and since I don't really use them, I decided to put them on my walls. Oh my okay, and welcoming us into the walk-in closet, you have Panda. Uh, she doesn't want to say hi, but later. All right, guys, welcome to my walk-in closet. Hold up, guys. I just feel, I feel so ghetto compared to this woman. I don't even know who she is yet. But she's just so beautiful and everything is so perfect. Wow, she's perfect. So here we are once again. I like to keep all my blazers and the things that I wear for every day in this part. I just put it all together because sometimes it gets confusing. And of course, I like to keep all my white stuff. I am obsessed with anything white. I just think it's my, my uniform. So in case I'm lazy to think of patterns on patterns or put things together, my go-to outfit would be all white. I hate this. I really do, but it's inevitable because you want to keep it like really clean. And sometimes the hanger and the velvet hangers, which I got from a Japanese store and it's super duper cheap. What I like about it is you can put so much of your clothes and it's still very thin. So you can like put everything together and there's you know such super good for like a safe space and stuff like that so i have my whites mostly all together then i shift from the blues to blacks my favorite would be this top i love mark from garner he is a good friend and i think what's nice about him is that you know it's not super pricey and it's very dressed pristine and it matches with just jeans so i love this top i also am a sucker for anything lace white lace i just think it's so like neat looking and fresh especially here in the philippines we have such a humid weather it's nice to be you know looking fresh and posh and clean all the time and then you have the blacks i'm very sentimental when it comes to my outfits like this top which i love i got this from a store i forget but this has been with me for 10 years and it's just coming back so i like to keep my stuff but from time to time i also like to freshen up and set things aside some i put in archives and, or some i sell or um, give away so this area is like more of also like the blacks the nudes of the colors and then we go back to white i love white and again the inevitable this is me being oc when it's from the dry clean i just like to keep it this way okay so this is also another dress that i love i think i wore this for my milan trip this one i got from sandro am i right yes i got it from sandro it's a french brand and it's like a super hot no how do you describe it's not zara it's higher than zara but what i like about it is you know it's not very common but i don't mind doing zara i love zara zara is my go-to so when i want something like white polos most of my polos are from zara i love zara and what else do i have here so these are my skirts i'm getting frustrated because how much space i'm trying to keep things as neat as possible and yeah maybe I should have a sale one of these days mm -hmm. okay so over here I have my favorite dresses so I love this dress from Carolina Herrera I am making it a must to collect so I'm working really really hard to buy more I have a pink a very nice blush pink coming and I also have it in green I think it's a really nice cut so I like the classic cut although I do like to play around with my style and my clothes um, sometimes it's nice to be a bit quirky you do the fuchsia pink you do other colors here are mostly some of like my nice Chanel jackets I love Chanel I love vintage Chanel. So this is like a really nice trench. It could also be like a dress. The reason why I like, I love investing on some brands because, you know, it's definitely something that will last you forever. So you can wear it over and over. So I get a lot of questions and a lot of people ask me if I repeat my clothes. Of course I do. And that's why for me, it's important to really buy quality clothes or I have like, if I spend on clothes, I make sure that, you know, it's something that you can mix, match and use all the time. What else? Mm, Mark Van Garner dresses. Again, Carolina Herrera, Del Pozo, love. And, oh, and I forgot. I have a little secret compartment here where I keep my stuffed toys. <laughs> I actually have more, but they're sleeping all the way in the back. I don't know. I guess I just can't really totally let go of my childhood. And hopefully, you know, I'm also very attached to my stuffed toys. So I'm thinking maybe one day when I have a baby, I can give my stuffed toys to my baby. And my sister and I, we share the same thing with stuffed toys. So I don't like throwing them away. Although some, like the ones that you get from fairs and stuff, I've given that away. But there are certain ones that are very sentimental that I'd like to keep. Okay, so this island over here where I keep my sunglasses and my abubuts. 
and I also have this whole drawer full of my other stuff. Uh, I don't like to keep everything out because I don't like it cluttered, so I just put them in my drawers. So when we had this closet made, we really planned it out to make sure that we had a lot of space for all my little stuff. And over down here, we have my shoes, so my rubber shoes. I love those. Okay, so here, this is actually where I put all my clothes, the ones that I haven't really used or the ones that I don't want to forget about. Sometimes you forget, so you put everything here. So I have nice stuff that I ordered, like last year, Panaman, Sha. But I like this really beautiful white suit from Prabal Gurong, and it's so beautiful. I just have to find the right event to wear it, but it's my favorite. So I like to keep them in like nice cases so it doesn't get dusty or whatever. And you know what's important? You have to have a dehumidifier here in the room. I put all my new stuff here. And um, over here, you have my shorts, my skirts. Sometimes when I get you know, gifts or shoes, I put them over here. So you could put there, but I've figured out a way to organize and it's not yet there. And here, I have my perfume. Someone once told me that you know, in our country, it's humid, it's hot, so sometimes you know, your perfume expires right away. So you need to put it inside a ref. But since it's, you know, it doesn't really look nice to have a ref somewhere here, I decided to put it right beside my aircon. So this aircon, we turn it off, obviously, to save energy, but sometimes I have to turn the aircon on to save the leather and the bags and some of this stuff. So I put it here, so hopefully they last forever. When you get home to this disaster, I'm going to cry. And here, my favorite area, my shoes. So I've been collecting. Actually, most of the stuff that you see here didn't just happen overnight. It's an accumulation of 21 years of collecting. I've always collected shoes. Why? Because I'm 5'2". There's nothing wrong with being 5'2", but I'm just saying is I love wearing high heels. I love nudes. Why do I love nudes? Because it gives the illusion that you look taller. Um, it matches everything. So I like to invest on nudes like Louboutins. They're a little pricey, but I mean, you can wear it all the time to the grocery. Why not? You can wear it with anything. It matches everything, casual, formal, anything. So I love to collect the nudes. In fact, whenever I try to change my shoe, I still go back to the nudes. So it's a problem already. It's addicting. But I do like quirky ones like this. This is my Louboutin ones. Store. I've used this a couple she of times. It's those? super comfy. No, seriously, it I is without Emla. I like so I love that. Like um, this is also cute. It's very quirky and you know, it's nice to change it up a bit. So I have that. What else? What else do you want to see? Um, more shoes, more shoes. More this shoes. outfit over here. I put that, I usually put my outfit, I plan them ahead of time when I have an event. So I have an upcoming launch of a product. So I put this together, me bag. So cute. Bagu. I just bought that, it was on sale. So this is my next outfit for my event and I'll show you more of the shoes. Surprisingly, this is actually the best one to walk in for like hours. They have it in beige and uh, fortunately I wasn't able to get it in beige, but this is super comfy. Although it's chunky, so you have to really be careful with the kind of outfit that you wear it with so you don't look chunky or like elongates you. So it's a mix of the length of your outfit or whatever. And this one is, for me, I think a very memorable pair because I was wearing this actually when I attended Scaparelli fashion show and the couture gown that this girl, I told that story I think a gazillion times, she was wearing, it got caught on this and it ripped. The model was not happy about that, but I, well, you know, it's a story. It's a conversation piece. <laughs> Manolo's, yes, Cassidy, love. I love the length, I love the platform, and I love it how it's super high with the platform, but it's very thin and very nice on the feet. That's nice. This, <laughs> where do I wear it? When I'm wearing something that you can't see my shoes. So that is that. Okay, so over here, so this is like my little sala. So I like to have my coffee here, ganyan, and whatever, you know, this is where I do my thing. Oh, look at the and dogs. that's Yogi. Hi, Yo. This so is Panda. Cute. And here is another area where I have my OOTD shots. Okay, so this is the area where I do my OOTD shots in front of that mirror. Um, I love this little corner because I keep all my little sparkly something abouts over here. It just I makes make me happy. Like uh, I chose a wallpaper because I love Paris, so it reminds me of Paris. And this whole actually floor, I wanted it to be full of colors and all the little things and cute, beautiful things that I like. It is my escape, my happy place, and I love spending time here. So this one, um, I had it framed. I also got it in one of the fairs that I went to in Paris. It's a vintage print ad of the Hermes scarf. And here we have my little shampoo sink especially with my line of work. If I probably wasn't working or doing the thing that I'm doing, I wouldn't have this, but this is super convenient because I do my treatments for TVCs here or whenever I dye my hair black or I get treatments, I do it here. I just, you know, like to be home most of the time. Okay. And the robe, I love robes. Um, and here we have my bags. So we'll start from the lower part. I have my scarves and my twillies over here. So I keep them here. Yeah, so I love twillies, I love scarves. And I think because people know that I love twillies and scarves, Every time it's my birthday and Christmas, they just keep giving me so thank you so much. <laughs> you guys, overwhelmed na ako, hindi ko na kaya. <laughs> oh yeah, and a little sneak peek. This is actually my painting 
for Let's LMX from Seta, uh, we decided to come out with my own line of silk scarves with my paintings. So another amazing idea. Put it in a frame and give it for Christmas. My friends, you know what you're getting for Christmas. Okay, so I have my clutch bags here. Of course, I have my favorite Sequoia bags. I also have these amazing local bags. This is from Farah Abu. And this is, ooh, this is also a favorite. So these clutch bags are from Vintage City. I love that, especially when you're attending like a beach wedding or what. And my classics, my Chanel bags. This was given to me by my mom a long, long time ago. And this one I love also. So I have my Chanel bags. This is also love. This is also super cute. I love this. I wore this for Fashion oh, Week. I want oh my that. God, I lost some studs. I also have like quirky bags from Kate Spade, Carolina Herrera. Love that. And this is actually from my son Love Marie. You can follow my Instagram. That's shop my son Love Marie. And this is my design. So this is my bag. And it has this really lovely velvet finish inside. And yeah, it was so hard to look for a chain. But anyway, I finally completed it. And this is going to be launched very soon. What else do I have? Yes, you have my painted bags over here. This is still a prototype. Um, also with the same pink velvet. Love that. So I'm still developing that. And of course, my collaboration with Sequoia. This is the heart bag. And hopefully we are working on another batch with different colors. So that's something to look forward to. And over up here, it's just like all the bags, like for traveling, all the big bags. This is also a nice bag. This was my mom's actually. She had it way before me and it's vintage. It's beautiful, they don't have it anymore. So I had to fix that before because it got like really bad stuff on it. And you have the Sequoia bag. And over here, I'm going to share a little bit, just a little bit of my love for Hermes bags. I have my painted bags. So before I started to paint for other people, I actually had to paint for myself because I needed to make sure that it was going to work. So let me get my first bag. This is actually the lizard skin bag that I was talking about during the Harper's Bazaar shoot. The oil just landed right here and right there. So hence the flower and the bird, but this is the bag that started everything for me. I love this bag. I also have this. This one I was just practicing on. I think I'm gonna paint on that again. And if there's any bag that I would say if there's a fire, definitely my Himalayan. I do not know how I can buy this again, but it was a good investment. So eventually if my daughter, they want to auction the bag when I'm 102 and I'm not here anymore, this is the bag. This is also very cute. This is from Purse Pop. It's a line that she made. I love it because it dresses up your bag, but it's just like a jacket. So you can just put it like oh. that. So if it's raining or you... Raining? Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but you know, if you want to protect your bag because you don't want that oil french fries thing to happen again, this is what I like to put instead of putting it um, inside a plastic bag. But you know what? I actually just bring like a really cute nylon bag. Uh, the one that you could roll up, you buy in the groceries and I put it in my bags when I travel. And I think that's still the best way to protect your bag. You just dump it in there when it's raining. It's not bulky, but this is another cute way to dress up your bag. Over here is where I spend most of my time because this is where I get ready. So I have my books and all these like little trinkets and pictures of special people. And this is where I put all my makeup. I've given up on makeup kits actually. We've got to dial 1-800 for more because this is going to be for another vlog. This is an interesting one, so. Okay, so here, this is like my little balcony. And don't you just love the plants? Look at the plants, they're so green, they're so fake. <laughs> I've given up and it was pretty expensive to keep changing the plants. The sun doesn't really hit the plants so much, so it just dies all the time. So I've given up and now they're fake, but they're Instagrammable. And plus they're always flowers, so it's good. And here, this is where I work, I edit, I sometimes paint. So I like to be surrounded by all these colors and things that I work hard for, things that inspire me, things that, you know, push me to work even harder. This is like my creative space. So I think it's really important for you to have your own little space where you could do whatever you want to do. Listen to music, take pictures, edit and everything. And I have all these pictures of my loved ones. I love picture frames. I love pictures. And yeah, so you have my markers here and all these stuff, things I need to do, things I need to sign. And what else can I show you? I put my envelopes here, my letters and whatever. Oh, I'm supposed to give this that to my chair twins. Looks uh, kids of cheese. This is cute. Letters to my future self. I should put that out. But I usually have this more organized, but yeah, I put all my letters here and I love collecting um, cards and stuff for my loved ones. I love writing letters. So we put that there. And this is pretty cute. My husband gave this to me. You I should stop? show my mom this so Eat she gets organized. <laughs> that is so cute. That is really so, cute. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's my walk-in closet, wow. my office, my space my little corner of the world and it does keep me inspired so i hope it inspired you and i hope you enjoyed oh. my little tour that's pretty much it so for more vlogs and for more videos you could subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video this has been hard for the next one i gotta work oh i love her i have Poor to gown that i have to like research her i've never seen her before is she an actress who is she oh wow she seems amazing a philippine and as a commercial model actress Oh, wow. She's amazing. Well, I definitely am going to subscribe to her everywhere. I love her or how organized she is. And it definitely inspired me to be more organized. I just have to clean, guys. It's such a 
such a process, but wow, I like that guys. Thank you for recommending this. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. This is the type of videos I like to watch. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you think we should watch. Uh, who is your favorite influencer? I want to know. All right, guys, how many shoes do you think she has? Guys, you can guess.